want you to pretend that this apple represents our planet, okay? If the apple represents the Earth, how much of the Earth's surface about is covered with water? More than half, yeah. Uh, about it's about three-fourths of it, about 75%, a little less than that. But all you future mathematicians, if I'm going to get three-fourths of my apple, I'm going to cut it in half like this, and then what am I going to do to it? How do I get three-fourths? Uh, I cut one of those pieces in half, that's right. So I'm going to cut one of those pieces in half like this. So now then, I have about three-fourths of the Earth's surface that's covered with water, and one-fourth that's not. But of the one-fourth that's not water, half of it is in polar ice caps and high mountain ranges. We can't use it to produce that food fiber or lumber. So about half of that, again, my future mathematicians, when I'm multiplying fractions, I multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So now I have one-half of one-fourth. What's one times one? One times one. Go ahead. It's one. What's two times four? Two. Two, two four. times four. four. Two groups of four, four is eight. 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 So now I have one eighth of the Earth's surface. But of this one eighth, three fourths of it. It's too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry, too steep, or too shallow. Can I be used to produce the food, fiber, and lumber to feed, clothe, and shelter all those 6.7 plus billion people on the face of the planet? What that means is that we can't use this much. This is what we got left. What I have now is one-fourth of one-eighth. Anybody know what four times eight is? Four times eight. Fourteen. It's 32. So what I have now is one-thirty-second of the Earth's surface. That's how much of the Earth's surface we use to produce that food, fiber, and lumber. But the whole slice isn't really what we use. The soil is just the thin skin. And that thin skin of the soil on the face of the planet, that stuff is fragile. It washes away. It blows away. It can erode. And so it's important for us to take care of it. We build stuff on it. We lose some of this every year. And so it's very important to take care of our soil. Because if we don't, there won't be enough food, fiber, and lumber to feed, clothe, and shelter all the people on the face of the planet. So that's why it's important to take care of your soil. Because it's a scarce natural resource and it's slowly renewable. Not in your lifetime. If we lose it, will it be restored and repaired?